All right, so hello, Mr. Jimmy Martinez. Hello. Hello, sir. All right, so Maria Gonzalez is the only one in here. So how are you, Maria, Miss Gonzalez? Uh, hi, hi, uh, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm happy. Good evening. So how, how was your day, Maria? It's... Um, What's okay, uh, so, it's so, okay. what's it's okay. okay? All right, yes. nice, I'm glad. Wednesday, right, Wednesday. Okay. It's Wednesday, yes. Yes, so let me ask you, uh, uh, do you work at home or do you have to go to work? Um, um, yes, I'm, I work in my home. You, you work at home, all right. Yes. Okay, good evening, Mirna. Good evening, uh, Jose Perez. Mr. Ho Jose. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So how are you, everyone? I can see that Yvette is getting ready with his camera and everything. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Nice. What's up, Felipe? Philip. Philip. Yeah, you're mute, sir. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Sorry about that. Yes. <laughs> I'm playing with you, you know. <laughs> nice. So how are you, Felipe? You're fine. Uh, we cannot hear you. But I know you were saying I'm fine, you know. Yeah, you know, that's good. That's good. Uh, so today... I'm gonna wait, let's say two or three minutes for the next, let's say two or three more people to join this uh, class, all right? So let me just do something in here. And here we go. So at nine o five we start, you know, uh, with the class and everything. Okay. So just one sec. Come in here. Mm, yes, I'm ready now. All right. And here we go. All right, uh, so first of all, I want to say thank you for the ones that took the time, you know, to send the uh, picture, you know, the photograph of the sentences, you know, about the conversation, okay? So, uh, so far, I have, uh, do you know what I'm talking about right now? Yes, about like the homework I assigned yesterday, yes? Yes. Yeah. Right. Nice. I can see that we're on the same page, you know, in the mismo canal. And the last I got were from Felipe, sir. I can see there you chose uh, came, ball, got, church, wanted, did, been, and needed. But just one thing, uh, Felipe, Felipe Miron, right? You like to see over there. <laughs> Very funny last name. Uh, been is not in past. That's a mm. different thing. So, Lo puede tachar, you know, you can cross it out. Been, number seven. Number seven. The past tense is was or were. For example, you know, I was in the living room, you know, two minutes ago. Estaba ahí, verdad, en la sala, you know, drinking coffee. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Let me just check another one. And this is from... Gio, I think it, this is Sir Giovanni. He chose, uh, ran, so took. Let's see, uh, Mr. Gio, are you here, sir? I think he's not over here yet. The thing is that, uh, what's what's the spelling for for took in past tense? Can somebody tell me the spelling of took? El deletreo de took. 
you know, tome or, 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 or tomar in, in past tense. Took, how do you spell it? How do you write it down? You know, took, like, you know, I took a cup of coffee, you know? All right, uh, let me just minimize this. So the idea, everyone, is that I'm going to give you feedback. Yo le voy a dar la retroalimentación y por eso es que me están mandando eso. El fin de semana yo me voy a tomar el tiempo, ¿verdad? Y disculpen que los interrumpa, ¿verdad? En los esos quehaceres, pero le voy a escribir, eh, good job, you know, everything was okay. O tal vez puede cambiar el deletreo de esta palabra. O le voy a decir, mándenme la pronunciación de estos verbos. And that's what we're going to do, all right? All right. All right, so, so that's the thing. So over the weekend, I'm going to get in touch with you and let you know what you can do, you know, to practice the past tense. But tonight, the first thing we're going to do, since I have 10 students already. So, and I have, I want to hear your voices in here. So I have Yvette over there, right? You say hi. <laughs> nice. So Joseph, you're in there. Maria, I know you're over here. And I, now I, I, I know your faces already. Okay, I recognize your face. Ya me lo puedo. <laughs> Angel. Okay, so Angel Martinez. Sir, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Thank you, sir. Uh, Ingrid, you are, are you over here? Miss yes, Barrera? I'm here. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Uh, it is, and then I know Mirna is in here. I think Mirna, you are the math teacher, right? Okay, so and then I have Patricia in here. Nice. Let me share the screen with you of the first activity you are going to make in purse. Okay? okay. Remember that uh, this is the word or the phrases of the day. So if you have a notebook, if you have a notebook, you may write these two words in the notebook. Las escriben si gustan in the notebook. Or you just, you know, can take a picture. Si somos más tecnológicos, ¿verdad? Tomamos una captura de pantalla. You get a screenshot or you take a photograph. It's up to you. All right? So you can do that. All right. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to send you to the little breaker rooms, okay? And over there, you're going to discuss or talk with your uh, partner, you know, the meaning in Spanish or an example of these two words. You know, when we, when we come back to the main station, you guys are going to tell me, okay, teacher, I think currently means this and actually means this, okay? Okay. Van a discutir el significado de esas dos palabras y van a decir si, su, si es lo mismo o si son totalmente distintas o el significado en español o una oración en español. But it's just a speaking activity. This is a speaking activity. All right? Is that, a, a, is that understood, everyone? Yes. Yes. Okay. So let me send you to the breaker rooms so you can practice in purse, you know, as a couple. Okay. All right, so 10 participants, so I'm going to make five groups in here. Just uh, accept the invitation. So Angel is with Katia, Iris is with Yvette, Jose is with Maria, Felipe is with Ingrid, and Mirna is with Patricia. Okay, so, and there we go. What you have to do is, you know, to try to guess the meaning, o sea, el significado of those two words, and to try to use them in a sentence. All right? So, Katia, join the break room, please. Now, there we go. So, Yvette, uh, that, there we go. Thank you. So, everybody is in here. So, Mirna and Patricia. Okay. 
que vamos a, a, a hablar sobre el significado de esas palabras. Ajá. Ah, eso. de las que escribió. Ajá. Currently, currently Ajá. actually. Actually. Que lo podemos hacer en inglés o lo podemos hacer en español. Creo que no. ¿Qué yes. significan? Okay. Yes. Yes, yes. Ajá, pero en inglés, actually, actually, para mí significa este, como actualizarse, pero en actualizarse como en conocimientos, como creo mm -hmm. en esto, por ejemplo, actually en inglés, estamos como actualizando nuestros conocimientos en inglés, no sé si es así, teacher. Actually, no, o actually de actualidad. Ajá, Ahí estoy confundida. Ajá, ajá. O actually de actualidad Vaya. de lo que está sucediendo. Vaya, si me ajá. permiten, si me permiten. Si me escuchan, uh -huh. perdón. Me escuchan, perdón. Sí, sí. Vaya, eh, va, de hecho, eh, sabe que esas dos palabras son bien comunes de confundir, ¿ok? Eh, y por eso las Parecieran estamos... similar, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 de hecho, pero nada que ver. De hecho, eh, a, por nuestro idioma, que es el español, nosotros pensamos que actually significa actualmente o al corriente, ¿verdad? Pero en realidad no significa eso. La otra, la otra palabra eh, eh, que ¿Cómo? es currently es así, significa, digamos, en estos días, en, you know, en este tiempo, significa, you know, actualmente. O sea, actualmente es currently. Sí. Ok. Actually means... De es real, real, ¿no? Realmente o de hecho. Uh -huh. Hecho. So, you can say, uh, currently I'm studying English at English Corporativo at 9 p.m. ¿Verdad? Actualmente. Quizás el otro mes va a ser otra cosa distinta, o quizás va a seguir, o ahí lo va a detener, ¿verdad? Or you can say, Mirna, you are a teacher, right? You're a math yes. teacher. Yes. Okay. You can say currently, because of coronavirus, you know, I'm teaching math, you know, virtually all over the computer. Or I'm teaching math, you know, virtually, currently. And you can say, actually, I don't like it. <laughs> De hecho, no me gusta. <laughs> right? Right? You may say that. Yes. Actually, yes. actually is used, you know, to emphasize, you know, para enfatizar algo. Okay. Yes. That's the difference. Así que no hay que confundir actually, que significa de hecho, y currently, que significa actualmente. All right? O sea que al revés las estaba, de, las estaba explicando, las estaba definiendo. Y si, usted imagínese Thank con una ecuación, con una ecuación, with an equation, right? Right? Yes. Think, think about that, you know? Use that logic. Different. Yes, yes, correct. But right now, try to use the two words in, in a different example. Ocúpeme actualmente en una oración y también actually y currently. Okay, en dos oraciones, una y una. It's one and yes. one. Bien, right. yes. Go ahead. Thank you. Gracias. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're very welcome. Do you like do you like soccer? Hello, hello. Do you like to play soccer? Uh, hey. Oh, yeah. Hi, All teacher. Right. All right. So just to uh, you know check out the uh, uh, you know the exercise I assigned to you. So could you please tell me, Katia, uh, the difference between actually and currently in a sentence, please? Um, can I give you an example? Yes, could you give me an example, please? Okay, I'm currently learning English, but actually I want to learn Korean. Okay, is that well. for real? Is that for real? <laughs> uh, yes, it is. Oh, that's nice. All right. Yeah, yeah I'm glad. I'm glad. So you like the Korean culture and everything over there? Yes. I, it's, I have a dream, so I hope one day visit this amazing country yes okay. you know the, the, you know long time ago i had the chance you know to meet some korean uh people over there they're very nice actually they're very nice yeah me too um a few years ago i attended a little bit uh 
class, a uh, Korean class, but my oh. teacher, he couldn't continue with the classes. So oh, okay. unfortunately, I couldn't learn more. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. But, uh, yeah. But it, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's never, it's never too late, you know, to learn something, you know, and this is the perfect yeah. example of what, what we're doing right now, right? Yeah, exactly. Correct. All right. Thank you. So what about you, uh -huh. Angel? Can you, can you give us an example of currently versus uh, actually, please? Okay. Currently is, currently is actualmente. Mm -hmm. It actually is realmente. Yes, that's correct. Yes. All right, so can you uh, use uh, the two words and two separate uh, examples, please? Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I am actually... You mean currently? Uh, learning English in this moment all right okay so you can you can you can also say uh, you know I, I I'm currently learning English just like that all right yeah what about actually can you can you give me an example please actually yeah go ahead please um I I actually mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to Okay, okay, but I'm going to give you time for you to think on this one. Let me just go to the main room and uh let, let's come back. All right, so everybody is, you know, is returning to the main station, but we're going to wait, you know. Let's see, like, 30 seconds over here. Okay. All right, so five participants. We're still missing some more people in here. So eight participants now. All right, so do we have do we have a full house now in the main station? Everyone? So is everybody here in the main station? Yes. Yes. All right, nice. Uh, let me share with you, you know, the explanation so that you can have this very clear. Uh, between uh, actually and currently, all right? So from now on, you're not supposed to make uh, any mistakes, you know, or at least, you know, you're going to see that currently and actually are, are totally different, you know, words, all right? So my point is to help you, you know, to help you uh, distinguish or to see the difference between currently and actually, why? because those two words are very common, okay? All right, so just one second. Let me just paste uh, something in here very quickly. Hold on. So let me ask, um, let's see, Patricia, help us on this. Hi, so Patricia. Hola, hola. 
Yes, thank you so much. Uh, help us read the difference between currently and actually, please. So, uh, example one and two, please. Like the definition, more that. Nosotros eh, y pusimos currently is English class. Yeah, that's okay. But right now, eh, read, o sea, lea uh, the explanation of where it says currently means and then uh, uh, actually means. Uh, yes. yes. Currently means uh, no at the present moment. Okay. In actually, actually means in really, in actually means in reality and it's often used to make corrections. To make corrections. Yes, you're right. Thank you so much. And uh, let me choose, let's see, Katia. Katia, uh, help us please with the uh, explanation and the example sentences of actually and also currently. And it's okay if you don't say the Spanish, you know, translation over there. Okay? So no problem. Okay. Go ahead, please. Okay, uh, actually equal in reality, equal the nature or in realidad. Yes. Simple. You like eggs, right? <laughs> no. Actually, I'm allergic to them. And currently equal now. Example, currently I'm learning the English. Mike's currently unemployed. All right. Thank you so much. Now you see the difference, you know, actually means, you know, uh, when you want to emphasize something, you know, in reality. Okay. Currently means right, I mean, now. Something that is happening, you know, maybe not at the moment that we're speaking, but in a specific period of time okay actualmente currently and then in reality or the hecho actually some of you were confusing okay some of you were confusing the words okay la decían al revés you know but it's the other way around it's the other way around de hecho es al revés all right so currently means actualmente and then actually means de hecho but let me tell you this I'm gonna give you two more words that are that are uh, used in the same way as currently and actually. And what I need you to do, everyone, right now, necesito que las palabras que yo les diga de forma oral me las digan, o sea, las escriban en el chat, por favor. All right. So I'm gonna tell you two additional words to say actually and to say currently. Is that understood? Yeah, yeah. Yes. All right. So the first one, the first one, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact. So send me a text on the chat, please, with the spelling, you know, con la, con la, el deletreo, you know, how you think it's spelled, please. So as a matter of fact, no importa si no lo capta bien, but, uh, you're supposed to send the word, all right? O sea, la palabra que le estoy diciendo, trate de escribirla y mandarla en el chat, por favor. So, as a matter of fact, that's the word. I want to see, you know, how good you are, you know, at, at listening. All right, so, uh, manden la versión de la palabra que le estoy diciendo, por favor. No la voy a escribir ahorita, necesito ver si captan la palabra. As a matter of fact. Y entre más personas envíen, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Cómo piensan que se escribe esa palabra? Es mejor. All right? So, the more people who know who actually answer, the better over here. All right? So, I can see in the chat in there, hey, mandémosla al chat the, over here on Zoom, you know. As a matter of fact, and there we go. Sin la C is fat, and that means, you know, to be like big, you know, chubby, you know, o grasa, o gordo, fat, over there. Don't write something else, porque puede confundirse con una mala palabra, all right? Nice. What about the next one over here in the chat? Eh, siguiente palabra, word number two, okay? Nowadays, nowadays, that's the second word, all right? Nowadays. All right, so nowadays.
All right, so nowadays. All right, and then I'm writing the example over here. And uh, here we go. Let's see, I have eight responses in here very quickly. And nowadays, you got it. Nowadays is together. And it's supposed to be with an eight in there. Now look at my screen, please, in PowerPoints. Miramos la presentación de PowerPoints, por favor. Okay. And there we go. Let's see, Miss Maria Gonzalez, could you help us read the, the two words over there? You know, the synonyms. Synonymous. We're going to talk about synonyms. All right? Like brothers, you know, siblings. Yes, I can hear you. Um, uh, just read, please. Just read. Solo hay que leer. Mm -hmm. Ah, currently, nowadays. In nowadays, okay. And then actually and? In fact. Actually, in fact. In fact, yes. You can say this. Currently, we are studying English, you know, over the computer, you know, virtually. You know, but actually, I, I, you know, I prefer to have classes, you know, in a classroom. So that's what I'm saying. So actualmente estudiamos virtual. ¿Verdad? Forma virtual. Yes. All right. Pero de, o sea, de hecho, o sea, prefiero las clases presenciales. That's what I said. All right. So, right. actually, I don't like, you know, classes over here. Or I would say it, they're okay, but, you know, I prefer to have classes in a classroom. Okay. That's for me. All right. So, remember, currently means actualmente. And actually means in, in fact in there. Okay. And, um... Next activity that I got for you, everyone. And I'm going to send you to groups of, I mean, actually to pairs right now. Let me share uh, this with you. Okay, hold on. Let me just one sec, come in here and... What time is it, by the way? Can somebody tell me that, you know, what time it is? What time is it, everyone, by the way? It's nine, sorry. All right, nine, nine, almost 9.30, nine, nine, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. So how many questions, how many questions can you see in my screen, by the way? Ten sentences. All right. So ten Five sentences ten. there. And are they in simple, past, or future? Oh, you know, in one ten, what tens are they written on? Past. Past ten. Past tens. Uh, All right. Past. Let me ask you, are, 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 are they only with did or with where, or we have a combination of everything there? With both. Okay, it's it, both, right? We have both examples in there. Yes. Okay, so so what you're gonna do, what you're going to do right now, in purse, I will send you to the break rooms. Lo voy a mandar a los, a los salas separadas, okay? And mm -hmm. you're going to take turns. For example, if I'm practicing with Jose. Jose, let's try to practice this right now, Jose, okay? Mr. Rivas. Yes, are you here? Thank you, sir. So I, I'm going to ask you the first question, but you don't have to answer to me right now. Uh, and then you ask me the second question, I ask you the third one, and, and so on, okay? okay. So th the first one, where were you born? Now tell me the second was, question, please. I, uh, I was born in San Salvador City. Where okay. did you uh, grow up? All right, I grew up in Berlingo Sulutan. Uh, where did you go to school? I went to the Colegio San Francisco. All right, you Where can you also. Go to the La Libertad? All right, uh, no, I wasn't. I was born in Usulutan. All right, so I'm Usuluteco, you know. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, all right, I yeah. So, uh, were you born in Brazil? I was born in El Salvador, you know. All right. <laughs> 
you so you you were born in El Salvador? Yes or not? Yes. All right. Okay. So uh, ask me another question then. Where uh, were you a good student in school? Yes, I all right. I was a good student in primary school, but I wasn't a good student in high school. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So all right. So what was your best friend like in high school? Or did you have? I a good actually, I, I actually don't remember that <laughs> stuff. I just remember <laughs> used to play soccer with my family. Oh, okay. That's nice. All right. So in, in, this, in this question, we can actually say, what did you do with your friends when you were in high school? That could be another, another version of this. Okay, let me change it. Uh, okay. let, 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 me, let me change it. I, okay. I, I confuse that because, I confuse that because when I learn what do you do, it's more like, what do you do about you are a teacher, math teacher, right, account, things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, what did you do? with your friends okay you know in high school all right there we go i just changed it and there we go so what did you do with your friends you know uh in high school you said you play soccer yeah. right yes i used to play soccer. all right so nice could you ask me number eight please jose Yes, uh, just please share the, the screen, please. Ah, uh, okay, so, sorry about that. I thought I was sharing the screen. Uh, what is the number of the sentence? Hold on, let me share the screen again. All right, so, uh, number eight. It's my phone, right? Number what eight. Do you do during Okay, what did you do during the COVID-19 pandemic? Actually, I didn't do anything special. You know, I just stay home. You know, I worked, since I'm a teacher, you know, I worked, you know, uh, in high school, you know, teaching history and English too, all right? So next question, what was your favorite teacher in your favorite class in high school, if you remember? Damn, yes, I remember. <laughs> uh, my favorite nice. teacher was, the teacher that gave me sports right you know because uh, i like i used to like to play soccer right in that time, I remember oh, okay. that time. all right so it was the, 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 the yeah. pe teacher you said yeah yeah you're right. All right. What, you're right. what was his name what was his name by the way i don't i don't remember, I don't remember. <laughs> do that you remember the time ago man do you remember his his nickname or something? You know how I used to call him? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> Don't say my girl, man. <laughs> okay, at least you remember. You know that that uh, you I, had a I favorite just, teacher. I just remember. I just remember that, that guy. Uh, he used to play with all the students soccer you know, on the breaks, like. Okay, so he he told with the example, right? That's nice. Yeah. All right. So. Thing, right? Yes, it's number 10. Did and you do anything special in your last birthday? Yes, or did you do that? No, not really. I didn't do anything special. You know, my birthday it is on May. And remember that at that time, we were in the highest, you know, uh, point of the quarantine, you know, of pandemic. the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. So... I was not very lucky, you know, so I had to stay home because all uh, stores were closed and everything. So, unfortunately, but that's okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So, lady, thank you, Jose. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you're supposed to do, you know, to practice with your classmates, you know, exchanging the questions with the answers. You, so, for example, if your partner, you know, asks you the first one, you answer, and then you ask the second one and so on. All right. All right. So uh, let me go ahead and send you to the uh, breakout rooms. You're going to be uh, practicing in purse one more time, but I'm going to send you to different purse. In the meantime, let's do something else. Let's write the sentences down. Escribamos las respuestas para que usted sienta más confianza. If you like, you can write the answers, you know, and then just, you know, just to speak over here. 
Are we okay, Yvette? Mm -hmm. So, so do you do you have any questions? You can ask that in Spanish or in English. You know, it doesn't really matter. No, quizás me va a costar como responder las preguntas. Ok. Podemos inventar también, ¿verdad? La cuestión es, <ríe> es, es, es como compartir una respuesta. All right. So that's, that's the theme over there. I, I'm, I'm, right now, I'm, I'm doing the new uh, purse of students in here. All right. So. And 12 participants per room. So I'm going to make six rooms in here. There we go. So Felipe is with Mirna, uh, David Magaña is with Katia, Maria is with Patricia, and uh, Ingrid is with Jose, and Angel is with Noria, and Iris is with Yvette. All right? So open all rooms in there. All right. So just accept the invitation, please. All right, so Mirna, uh, yeah, there you go, accept the invitation. Ingrid, uh, just uh, try to accept the invitation, please. All right, all right. So right now, uh, Felipe and Mirna, you're preparing, right? You're writing your uh, responses. Am I correct? Está en, está en modo, uh, Felipe. Ahí está. Uh, I, I don't hear anything, uh, Felipe. You know, I, I, I can listen to like some interference over there, you know, like shh, like that sound over there. So Mirna, are we okay? Yes, teacher. Nice, so first of all, Mirna, write the examples. So escriba sus preguntas, okay? And, okay. and then be ready to practice. Yes. All right. All right, so just one thing. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna come back, you know, once you're ready, I wanna see you, you know, in action. So I'm gonna come back. I went to Patricio Ruiz School. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I can remember, but I, I, I think that it, it was the name of the school. So, were you born in Puerto de la Libertad? No, I don't. I, 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 born, I, born, I was born in Merapan City. Okay, I think that you can say, I no, I wasn't. I was born in. I was. Well, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I was born in. What? What do you say? I was born. Where do you? Where do you born? Metapan, right? I. No, I. I wasn't. I was born in Metapan City. Okay. 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 So the next question. Were you born in Brazil? No, I wasn't. <laughs> I was born in El Salvador. 
no I would samba. like to be a Brazilian girl, but I can't. No, no, no samba. <laughs> no, you would like to have, you would like to have, the, you know, you would like to have the body too, you know, a Brazilian, right? <laughs> I don't yes, know of yeah. course. <laughs> yeah. But I can't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We, were you a good student in school, David? Um, I, I, uh, I don't, I don't believe that. I so so. So you wasn't. You wasn't a good student. <laughs> I wasn't. See, grammatically, yes, yes. You did. You did. Uh, you was a bad boy. No. no yeah, I you were. You, you, you were a spoiled, a spoiled, a spoiled student, right? <laughs> what? He was. A, he was a spoiled guy. You know, spoiled. Como. Travieso, malcriado, you know, you we can spoil guy, me mother, you can say spoiled child too. You was a spoiled child. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Right? <laughs> mis, mis, my, mis child. my child who is uh, who was he was an innocent one. Very, very, very quiet. <laughs> yeah, no computers, no cell phones, right? No internet. <laughs> yeah. It was totally different that we was totally different totally different our childhood then Correct. is nowadays <laughs> all right yes okay, okay. I'm going I to go, continue I, no you I, you I, you go you you next I with this question okay yes what was your best friend what what was your best friend like in high school well, actually, he he changed this question, but um, the teacher changed this question for what what was you no what did you do with your best friend in high school? So I'm gonna give you this uh, this answer. Mm, well, okay. I can't remember, but I think that we were we played a lot of games because my childhood it was the best season in my life. I could say that best so time of your life, when, right? When I was yes, the best time. Oh, it's better to say that. All right, so hello, sir, Mr. Rodrigo. Can you hear me, sir? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Rodrigo, 
I I work no I born in San Salvador. Hi Nuria. <laughs> Hi Nuria <Reverend> Felipe. <laughs> De repente estoy con alguien y después estoy con otra persona. <risa> Me sentí en la dimensión desconocida. Es un buen programa de televisión, la, la dimensión desconocida. Muy buena. ¿Se acuerda de, de la... De la uh, I, don't, I don't remember, the Apple Street, something like that, I don't remember. Ok, so continue, Ivette. Ok. Eh, Noria, where, where were you born? I'm, well, I was born in Cincinnati City. Felipe. And, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. And uh, if it, Where do you grow up? Why? Where, where do you grow up? Um, I, I was, grew up in San Martin City. I I grew up I was work up in San Martin City. Okay, San Salvador. Yes. In San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Felipe? No, Felipe. Okay. Felipe. Uh, okay. What were your best friends in high school? The question number seven. What was your best friend like in high school? Yeah, Felipe. Okay, can you hear us, Felipe? Yes, seven. No se le escucha. Yeah, we cannot hear you. We, we cannot hear you, Felipe. I mean, that's okay, Yvette, to continue with, with Noria in there, please. That's okay. Okay, Noria. Okay. Uh, were you born in Brazil? Sorry, please. Uh, uh, that, 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 teacher. We had no some issues. We have we had some issues. Hold on. Yes, you have some issues. You said, Jose. <clears throat> Jose, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. All right, so you have, did, but, but let me ask you, did you have a chance to practice at least, let's say, one or two uh, questions? With yeah, yeah, yes, I, right. I had a chance. You had a chance, brother. We practiced, yes, nice. yes. You know, right now, we're going to take this to a whole different level. You know, we're going to take this, you know, to the, uh, in, you know, infinity and beyond, you know, <laughs> like post like year. All right? Okay. 
<laughs> so, but I, I'm just, I'm just going to wait, you know, for the rest of, of your classmates to, uh, to join this session. There we go. So uh, I think, we are. yes, we have a full class right now, I think. So I was telling the, uh, Jose and, and Maria that right now, the second thing is to take this experience to a whole different level. Vamos a llevar esto a otro nivel, all right? We're going to raise the bar. Like Boss Lightyear, you know, he says, you know, to the infinity and beyond, right? <laughs> okay. And for that, I'm going to share the screen with you. Okay. So just one second. By the way, what time is it right now? Time to sleep? No, right? <laughs> not yet. <laughs> no, not yet, right? No, not yet. All right. So seven more minutes or eight more minutes. Here we go. Now you have the chance, you know, to get familiar with the questions and then with the answers. In here we have open questions like where were you born or where did you go to school? Those are called WH questions because they ask about how, about the what, about the time, about the place of something in the past, right? And we also have yes, no questions. Why? Porque solamente hay dos respuestas posibles. Si yo le pregunto, did you take a shower today? Se bañó? You may say yes or not. O también me puede decir tal vez, ¿verdad? But what I'm asking is yes or no. All right? So that's the thing. So listen, listen to me, please. I'm going to give you an example of what I want you to do for next week. Si me escuchan quizás uno o dos minutos, voy a darles como un ejemplo de lo que... Eh, Quisiera, quisieran, ¿verdad? Como una práctica extra desde aquí hasta el lunes. So, are we clear to this point? Yes? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes. So, lo que voy a hacer es que poner todas estas, eh, las respuestas a todas estas preguntas en contexto. Así como una secuencia. You know, I'm going to use like a timeline, una línea de tiempo, a sequence to give you, you know, to, to tell you the story of my life. All right? In, let's say, one or two minutes. Y e, idealmente es lo que ustedes van a hacer, ¿verdad? Desde aquí hasta el lunes. Yo les voy a explicar qué es lo que van a hacer, ¿verdad? Porque para mañana todavía tenemos lo de la captura de pantalla, o los versos, las preguntas. So, are you ready? Yes. Yes. All right. So, let me mute your microphone and start right away on this one. All right. All right, so hello everyone. My name is Jose Francisco Alfaro. I was born in Berlin, but it's not Berlin, Germany, everyone. It's Berlin, Usulután. I grew up in California, but unfortunately that's not California, LA. It's Usulután as well, all right? So I went to uh, El Espíritu Santo private school. I study, you know, from kindergarten until ninth grade, all right? I study high school at uh, Instituto Nacional of Berlin, you know, and I was not born in Puerto de la Libertad. You know, I'm not from Brazil, so I wasn't born in Brazil. You know, I'm Salvadorian, you know, by birth. I think I was a good student, you know, in primary school, but I was a really bad student in high school. Why? Because I didn't like to study. I, you know, I didn't do the homework, you know, and I was a rebel teenager, I can say that. And uh, I didn't have a best friend, but I played soccer with my friends after classes, you know, in a little court, you know, I, I play soccer with my friends, I remember that. And uh, this year, all right, I remember during the COVID-19 pandemic, I didn't do anything special because I have to work, you know, I'm a teacher. So uh, what I did in, in the pandemic was to work online, okay? Actually, I don't like those classes, but you know, there's no other option. My favorite teacher in high school was Mr. Carlos, all right? So he was a great teacher. He was an accountant teacher. He was my, my uh, mentor and he was my friend too. I remember that, you know, his name is you know, Don Carlitos, we, we used to call him Don Cam, you know, like Don Cam McLeod, right? And uh, for my last birthday, I didn't do anything special because everything was closed, you know, nearby. 
So uh, I actually, you know, didn't celebrate my birthday. So, and that's it. Entonces, ya que les di una pequeña demostración, no significa que lo van a hacer igual. You can do actually better. Lo pueden hacer mejor. And the idea is that you need to customize it. You know, adaptarlo a su situación. Pero mi idea es, ladies and gentlemen, que ustedes agarren estas preguntas y las pongan en contexto como una línea de tiempo. All right? Like a timeline. You gotta put this in context. Are we clear? Yes. Yes, All right, yes. nice. So, from today's, you know, on until Monday, you're gonna prepare for this. You, on a piece of paper, in your notebook, on a page, you're gonna write a paragraph, you know, like describing your past, you know, where you study, about your friends, you know, the things that you did, where you grew up, where you were born, etc. What you did in the pandemic, all right, if you celebrated your birthday, in everything. Le voy a mandar las indicaciones y todo eso, ¿verdad? So I'm going to share that with you tomorrow, all right? So you can start preparing. Okay? Pero básicamente lo que van a hacer es to write the paragraph y después mandar un audio al, al chat, ¿verdad? De la otra aplicación. Y tenemos desde este día hasta hasta el día lunes. Lo otro Okay, so audio, yeah. audio teacher Yes, it's an audio, yes, an audio, a voice note, correct. Pero vamos a hacer las dos prácticas, la práctica escrita y la parte verbal. So, la parte escrita, yo le voy a revisar la gramática para decirle, dele con todo, mándeme el audio. Ok. Eh, y le voy, entonces esa va a ser la práctica. Excuse me. First of all, we need to send you the paragraph. Para Yes, correct. The paragraph. So I can, oh, so I can give okay. you, so I can give you some suggestions and things that you can improve. You know, to sounds more natural. And then once I give you the the heads up, you know, the green light, the day are luz verde, you just can uh, send the audio to me, just you know, describing your your past. You know, talking about the past. Tenemos desde hoy hasta el día lunes. Recuérdense que esto no es obligación, pero sí creo que si queremos hablar inglés, necesitamos hacer esas prácticas. You know, I write in practice first, me mandan la captura de pantalla o me mandan el, 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 el texto, ¿verdad? With the paragraph. Yo se lo reviso and I send it back to you and then you start recording. All right? Okay. okay. Vamos, recordemos que todavía tenemos para mañana una práctica. La imagen, you know, like the uh, screenshot with the questions from the conversation and then the, the verbs over there. Yo también le voy a dar respuesta. Yes. So if there's something that you need to change, en la captura de pantalla que me, que me mandaron. Si hay algo que tienen que cambiar, I'm going to let you know. If everything is okay, I'm just going to go the thumbs up, just like this. You know, le voy a mandar así. All right? Thank you. Nice. Nice. Uh, just to finish, I'm going to uh, explain everything in writing, in, in the chat, okay, tomorrow. So, so everybody understands the activity. Otra cosa más, hay que ir completando siempre la plataforma de inglés corporativo, all right? You have to complete that. It's mandatory. Recordemos para, para que para pasar por lo menos y seguir aprendiendo o tener la oportunidad, you have to get 80% passing score in the platform. All right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Nice. So I thank you okay. for being here today you know, and help your classmates, you know, improve their English skills. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.